Hi, my name's Joanna Hutchinson, code breaker and whistleblower. And today I'd like to show you how to find your very own website full of secret messages. It's very simple. It really is. It's so straightforward, but we need to do this quickly before they literally take them all down, which is going to be quite a mission. It took them a very long time to found the one I reported uh, four years previously. But then again, they had written me off as somebody that really didn't matter. Now, there are thousands of these websites, possibly tens of thousands of these websites, and there may even be hundreds of thousands of these sites that are available to the public that contain code. Now, this is how they, they communicate to each other. And this isn't about, well, as far as I found out, none of the messages I see are, are needed to protect the country. These are downright corruption, evil messages about how the general public are being fooled, tricked, lied to, bullied, censored, uh, terminated for not being compliant. Um, so there is a lot of information for you to find out. Um, in fact, on this particular journey, I actually found two other websites containing um, uh, exactly a similar kind of uh, data. Um, and I asked my lawyer to report it directly to the, the, the specialist team um, within uh, the security services and, and the policing, because there's a special department that the lawyers can go to when they find information. But how they treated me, not the lawyers, obviously, uh, really very rude. How dare I try and help the global community? No, 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 that must be stopped. So anyway, let's turn that on this head and let, let us as the global community find this information on them. Let's do it. Let's do it together. It is really, really straightforward. There's a couple of, it's hiding in plain sight. So there are a few things uh, that they think will deter you from ever finding it. But it's a lot of the ones I found are all in a similar format. So they're all hidden. It's very much like um, uh, for the younger viewers, you may have to ask your parents or your grandparents uh, about traditional uh, spy movies and films, 007. Uh, there's always an advert hiding in the Angling Times, for instance. Now, I don't know, chicken or egg, you tell me, because that is where these messages are hiding. So did the authors of these spy novels know that? And again, hiding in plain sight, we're trying to tell us something, or have they mirrored what's been happening in fiction books? Anyway, please, please, please discuss. If you know anything about that, I'd be fascinated to know. Anyway, let's get back to how you can find one of these sites. So fundamentally, they use a news site, normally a very old news site that they don't think anybody will ever go to. And you have a you have two sections on a whole that we're we are looking at. One is a PDF section, which will literally it'll be a picture of each page of that newspaper or that magazine as it appeared at the time of publishing and printing. You have another set of data. They're called dot txt files and normally you'll just see a, a, a tab and you switch between pdf to dot txt the data is in the dot txt files that's where they hide all their conversations it's easy to tell first of all the data in the dot txt files is significantly bigger than the pdf files so that's your first starter. If they don't add up, then there is a lot more data in the .txt files. The second thing you're looking for is any kind of words that might refer to Bitcoin or mobile telephone numbers or anything that might be new technology that doesn't match the year of print. So sometimes you'll find it in an 1894 print or a 1984 print, or a 1969 print. Okay, well, they didn't have Bitcoin then, so this clearly is new data that they're, they're hiding um, 
hiding within that. So for me, that is how I would, first of all, just go through and see, do you have one? Have you found one? I'm telling you, there are so many out there. It will not take you long. And these are hosted by some of the biggest companies in the world. I'm not going to mention any names. Um, I really don't know how, how they're going to take these down as quickly as you can find them. But I need you, please, try and find your own website. They're out there. You don't have to understand all the code at this stage. I can teach you. We can come together. Let's do this together. Let's turn this around. Let's, let's find this vile information and corruption and lies and untruths and control and all these other topics that we all thought were conspiracy theories, apart from the people who were trying to tell us that they really weren't conspiracy theories and they're actually facts. Now we have their real conversations. They're real conversations they never want you to find, ever. We can do this together. Together, we can get the data. It's it's on, in a public place. They haven't even hidden it. They don't have, this data don't have, it doesn't have any encryption keys to get into. There's no passwords. It's just sitting there in the .txt files. If we join together, we can really make a difference. I promise you. When you find something, please comment below. What have you found so other people can start working on it? Um, you, the other thing inside the, um, inside the 5 million pages of data I have, there are a lot of websites that they use and a lot of newspaper names in there that they use. Now, some of them are still slightly encrypted, so you might have to work out... Um, what a uh, what a misplaced letter is but there's so many clues there's so much information thousands and thousands you can find your own website containing if you're a truth seeker if you if you are fighting corruption if you want to lead a better life if you believe we can make this a better world together this again I want to show you this isn't a one-off. There's a whole structure here of where they're hiding information in plain sight. If we find this data, we can break some of their links to communicating about these awful, awful level of control and corruption. We can protect the children. That's another thing we need to do. There is so much out there. So I'm asking you, please, 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 please share this data. You must know somebody who would love to be an armchair uh, detective or somebody that's always wanted to be in the matrix or a techie that loves this kind of stuff. There must be groups of techies who would love to work on this. Maybe, maybe some of the techies already know. I don't know. It's something completely new to me. We can do this together. This data is out there. Now, we've been lied to enough and it's time for it to end. So now I'm asking for your help and your support by going to find your own website with these conversations on about gross corruption. Thanks very much. Hopefully I will see you very soon. Thanks. Bye.